So, it is time to compare the Intel's Skylac i5 processor with the overclockable i5 processor from 2 year old Haswell series. Uh, many of the things are similar in these two processors. The one thing we would like to tell is about uh, the DMI 3 versus DMI 2 at the system bus that connect the processor with the chipset and basically that will define how what is the fastest speed the processor can communicate on the PCI express and so on and so forth. If, if there are multiple PCI expresses what could be their aggregate bandwidth. So, the core i5 advantage here is the much uh, faster uh, DMI bus at 6 giga transfer per second. Yeah, of course, the latest uh, lithography technology we have 14 nanometer and that what brings down the power consumption rated at 65 watts for the Skylac in this case. And moving to the base and the turbo clock frequency we have 3.2 gigahertz versus 3.4 gigahertz and the peak clock frequency peak turbo clock at 3.6 versus 3.8 gigahertz. So, even though Skylac is the latest processor, its base clock frequency is slightly lower and since the Haswell is a higher clock and it has it is also overclockable, uh, we do we expect that Haswell will be slightly over overperforming the Skylac i5-6500. Now, let us take a look at the pass mark score. We have i5 6500 at 7122 versus as well i5 4600 k at much higher at 7638. And that is partly because most of the users have uploaded their scores in a overclocked uh, mode. Some of the other differences we have. Uh, HD graphics 3 530 versus HD graphics 4600 where we have the HD graphics 530 is only marginally better than 4600. We now have a DDR4 that works at lower 1.2 volt versus DDR3 that works at 1.5 volt even though this DDR4 has the same throughput rate. I hope that helps you. Thanks for taking a look.